Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Medea U-shaped window air conditioner. I live in the Midwest and while my home does have central AC, I have a problem where my master bedroom is at the top of the stairs from the main living space and it's an open floor plan. This means that all of the heat rises up and funnels right into the master bedroom. This makes it tough to keep this room cool. Now I've had this LG portable AC in my bedroom for years and it has done all right, but it has a significant drawback. It's incredibly inefficient. Technology Connections has a great video explaining why that I'll link in the video description. In short, this AC actually pumps hot air out of the room, which creates a vacuum sucking in air from all cracks, crevices, and points of egress in the room. Today, we retire this AC and replace it with a 12,000 BTU Medea window unit. Before we do that, let's capture some baselines. This old LG pulls over 700 watts from the wall when it's powered on and cooling. From about 8 feet away, we get a decibel reading of 55 to 58. And after letting the AC run for a bit, we can see that it's pumping out 50 degree air. Now, let's get the Medea AC installed. Of course, this won't be an installation video. If you're looking for that, I'll link Medea's install video in the video description. Installation took about an hour and a half for me, doing it by myself. After installation, we'll begin the application setup and get this device connected to my network. Once set up, we see that it offers a host of controls that allow for quick and easy changes right from my phone. My old LG AC did not have any smart functionality. So to implement some semblance of automation, I purchased this Broadlink infrared blaster and set it up so that it could manage the LG AC remotely. Not the greatest experience, but it certainly worked for what I needed. After configuring the app, let's compare this air conditioner against the LG. This AC pulls about 435 watts from the wall with everything cranked all the way up and eco mode turned off. From about eight feet away, we get a decibel reading of about 45 decibels. This Medea AC is so quiet because of its U-shaped design. All of the loud components, including the compressor, are on the outside of the house on the other side of the window. After letting the AC run for a bit, we can see that it's also pumping out 50 degree air. Now, while this is comparable to the portable LG, again, that AC creates a vacuum in the room that also pulls warm air into the room, effectively making it less efficient. For an extended test, I ran this Medea AC overnight to compare it to the cooling power of the LG, which ran all night the previous night. For reference, our master bedroom is just under 200 square feet with nine foot ceilings. If we review the graph of temperature in my master bedroom, we can see that the Medea cooled the room much, much faster than the LG and was able to maintain the temperature throughout the night. Further, when running the LG, I also had the central AC on, but with the Medea, the central AC was completely turned off, making this result even more impressive. Of course, this is not apples to apples given that the LG is 8,000 BTUs and the Medea is 12,000 BTUs. It is still impressive to see that this Medea AC has far more cooling power while consuming much less power than the LG. And of course, one of the biggest selling points of this AC is that you can still open the window to get fresh air. The installation doesn't look too bad on the outside and it's nice that the entire assembly is contained in this solid white enclosure. So far, my only very minor qualm is that now our curtains can't sit in front of the window as they usually do, but we found it's just as easy to tuck them behind the AC against the window or draw the blinds down to almost entirely cover the window. That said, our bedroom is on the second floor, so I'm not too worried about anybody peeping in. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.